Hey everyone, Alex Ionescu here. Welcome to Investor's Guide to the Galaxy. Opus AI turns text to words, games, movies, and metaverses. Using ChatGPT and Nvidia Omniverse to generate 3D content. Although before we start, if you find this video helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you crash the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and takes just a split second. If you want to show more appreciation, consider subscribing to my Patreon. Now, let's dive right into it. Nvidia stock price. Yesterday up 1.44%. Year to date up 94%. Past year up only 4%. Past 5 years up 418%. Today I'm going to show you two cool things. Let's see the first one. See how APIs for GPT-4 and NVIDIA Deep Search were combined to rapidly generate 3D objects with simple text-based prompts in this experimental project from the Omniverse team. Let's imagine that we're mocking up a warehouse here. Let's start with the floor plan. I want to generate the content of a few rooms. In particular, I want to create a small warehouse here and here I want to create a reception room for visitors of the warehouse. So let's focus on the small warehouse. I want to drop some items in here. So let's start with uh, creating a new curve from pencil. I am going to draw an area here. And this area is where the items are going to be contained. Here we go. I click enter and the area is created. Now I need just to select the curve that I create, go to Generate Room, and here uh, I want to add the name of the room. In this case, we already put in Warehouse. And then I want to add a prompt that says, add common items that can be found in a warehouse. I just need then to click this button here, and the area is generated and is ready to go for dropping items in it. All I have to do is to go and click Generate. So now GPT-4 will generate a list of items, connect to Deep Search, and load those items in the scene. And here we go! As you can see, the items have been gracefully disposed in the scene. And we have actually a pretty good vari variety of items in here. Uh, we have things like uh, pallets, uh, we have uh, shelvings, we have a lot of different units in here. And we could always go and change things around. Uh, we could always move those items. But, you know, the layout looks actually pretty good for me. All right. So now I want to create a reception room. So let's go back to our floor plan here. And what I'm going to do is I want to create in this area here a reception. So uh, let's go to pencil. And again, I am drawing here a area where I want the items to be dropped in again. This time is pretty big. Here we go. Click Enter. And then I am going to select this curve here. And I go to Generate the Room. Uh, and I am going to call this Reception. And then I already prepared a prompt that says, uh, this is our reception area where we greet customer at the front desk and they wait for the products in a comfortable lunch. So all is set, generate the area, which is ready to go. And then I go here and I click generate and we're ready to go. And here we go. Uh, I see that the AI did actually a very good job here uh, into uh, creating the item. So let's see what we have, what we have here. Uh, it generated quite a lot of items uh, pretty accurately as well. There is a front desk and now there is, of course, it's a reception room. So it added relevant items. It added two sofas and a coffee table. And I see that it added a couple of armchairs and a uh, informative display stand. Uh, so that's actually pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, we have a lot of different items in here. It is interesting to notice the spatial awareness of GPT-4. All the items are correctly disposed, and there is a logic to the order of the items. And also, all the items are disposed inside the boundaries of the area, which is actually quite impressive. The last thing that I want to show you is Deep Search, 
and how you can use it to change this even more. Deep Search is an ecosystem of services that allows Omniverse users to search for content stored in Nucleus Server using natural language queries. It uses AI to search for the right assets. So for example, you can go and search for a chair and get good results, as you can see here, and start navigating through those. However, if you are a little bit more descriptive, for example, putting in office chair, you can get even better results. Deep search can be trained on your own data. And since GPT uses natural language too, you can see how powerful it is to combine these two technologies. And since we took advantage of Deep Search's abilities to uh, use natural language for search, it made sense to use it into another extension to make selections from the results. So let's see what that looks like. So let's say that we don't like one of these objects. Let's say, for example, uh, this modern sofa, uh, modern sofa one. We don't really like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, zoom in on this one and we're going to use another part of our extension, uh, which is called Deep Search Swap. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Deep Search to uh, select another sofa. Uh, and this is done automatically using AI. Uh, it will again connect to our repository of items and looking for another comfortable sofa uh, using, using AI. So we just, with the click of a button, Again, he's proposing us another, a different sofa. And if I click again, I click, I get another one. And here we go. And we can continue this way and get a lot of different uh, variations as well. Um, actually, this is the one that I that I had before, which is which is perfectly fine. But as you can see, just by using Deep Search, we can quickly iterate through it and get a lot of different variations. So cool, right? Yes, Nvidia has some amazing software that can blow your mind. But that doesn't mean they will make money right off the bat. It takes time, in my opinion. NVIDIA is a pretty strong company, but come on, the stock went ballistic. Take a look at this. From October 2022 to March 2023, 147%. In the last three months, the stock price erased almost all the loss from the last year and a half. Yes, I wanted to invest personally in NVIDIA and lost the train. You know the saying, better buy a brilliant company at a high stock price than buy a bad company at a very cheap price. I think we will have ups and downs. We still have all the problems in the world we had one year ago. So I have patience. Take a look at this picture from Rowan Chong on Twitter with all the things AI related that happened just in March 2023 alone. You can pause the video and read them all. I see we enter an AI stock market bubble very fast. Any company that mentions something about AI is going to skyrocket in the stock market and that is not healthy. Too much hype. Most of the startups will fail. Be careful in what you invest your money. Now let's take a look at the second thing, the company Opus AI. Our technology turns text into simulations, worlds, movies, games and metaverses. Let's watch a demo what they are doing here they have a prompt uh, chat and they add text here they add their prompt here and the software is generating the prompt in 3d that's amazing right clusters of trees surrounded areas with the rest covered by lush green grass and bold flowers cool huh Covered by fresh fallen snow. You have the snow. The recently built road abruptly came to a halt, only furthering slightly in the two opposite directions near the end of the left branch to the detached garage, alongside which was the small house with matching roofs. At the end of the narrow road, a much larger house with two floors stood alone. The rest of the street was occupied with similar houses, some large, others small. Boom, you have the houses generated. Driveway extended. Boom. With a few vehicles parked idly. Boom, you have the vehicles. Electric poles went through the neighborhood. You have the electric poles added to the 3D world. 
some fences, trim hedges, a few plants in front of each porch with mailboxes from the 70s. Very cool. They added some trees and the last thing they will add will blow your mind. Beautiful, right? Another example here. They are building some intersection in the city. Isn't this software mind-blowing or what? You can add all the details you want. Almost finished. Couple more things. Looks nice, right? And you have motion. And then at the end, you can visit the world. Take a look at this. It's brilliant. Welcome to the future, my friends. What do you think? Definitely the advancement in software today really makes some crazy stuff like this one the pope wearing a puffer jacket of course elon musk cannot stay away from this he posted this yesterday hmm funny right this is AI generated evidently i'd like to know your opinion on all of this please leave a comment below if you like this video please smash the like button so that other people like you see this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you that watch my videos. See you next time.